Welcome to Beauty Spaces, a show that's all about you, how you look, and how you feel about yourself. I'm Kirsten Hill. And I'm Shelley Sanders. Today, we're in the Rosenbaum Contemporary at the Gallery Center in Boca Raton, Florida. And we are surrounded by beauty, passion, and creativity. And we couldn't be more excited because we're going to show you how you can look like a work of art. Fragrances. Now, I know I've got my favorites, and I'm sure you've got your favorites, but sometimes they can be a little bit out of our price range. But not to worry. We sat down and had a heart-to-heart -heart with a fragrance developer. We chose our favorites and then <laughs> took it to the streets. We actually put some pretty top names to the old nose test. Mm, so, Beauty Spaces correspondent Rhonda Castagna poses a question. Does the no really know? Hmm. In this tough economy, you might think you have to sell your car to smell like a star. However, the truth is top quality fragrances don't necessarily cost top dollar. We've got a smell test coming up that'll prove the point. But first, I'd like to introduce Rose Hoyle to the program. She's a fragrance development expert who works with the finest perfume design houses in the world. And she's going to let us in on some of the industry's best kept secrets. Hi, Rose. Welcome to Beauty Spaces. Hi. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Now, as a fragrance developer, can you tell me about some of the fragrances that you create? I work with clients that develop fragrances for top designer and celebrity brands, but also for a fabulous fragrance line known as Designer Imposters. Okay. This line includes body sprays and colognes for men and women. They smell just like designer brands. They last just as long, but they cost a fraction of the price. Oh, well, I've actually come across some of these so-called knockoff fragrances, and they usually don't smell quite as good as the original designer brands do. Ah, but that's what sets designer imposters apart from the rest. Each designer imposter fragrance mirrors a popular designer or celebrity scent. So, for example, if you like Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue, you will love designer imposters Capri Breeze. And if you're a fan of Giorgio Armani's Aqua Di Gio, you'll want to try Designer Imposters Mascalino. Well, I am actually a fan of Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue, and I see that you brought this here today, so I'll have to try your Capri Breeze. Yes. Okay. Most people can't tell the difference. <laughs> well, we actually put that to the test. We headed out to a local mall, armed with samples of the original designer fragrances and the designer imposters. And then we asked a few volunteers to let us put one scent on each wrist and then dare them to tell us the difference. Let's check out the results. We're here at a local mall, and I brought along some fragrances to do our smell test. Now all we need is a shopper. Can you tell me which one is Victoria's Secret's love spell? I can't. <laughs> they smell exactly alike. Now, can you tell me which one is the original? No. <laughs> I would say it would be this one. No? That is actually swept away. This uh, smells really good. That smells really good? That's actually the mascalino. No. So you like that one? Yeah. <laughs> this one? No. Oh. <laughs> You're wrong. We fooled her. So they smell almost exactly identical, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah. This one smells better, kind of. It does? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun, and they really couldn't tell the difference. So how is that possible? Well, I'll let you in on a big secret. The same master perfumers that create designer perfumes also create designer imposters. Designer imposters uses rare essential oils typically found in only the most expensive perfumes. Okay, so if they're using a lot of the same ingredients and rare essential oils, how is it possible that the, say, the imposter brand is able to cost so much less than the designer brands? Another industry secret. Designer brands spend tons of money on marketing campaigns and on licensing fees in order to use the celebrity or the designer name. Designer imposters invest in the fragrance, not in expensive endorsements. You get to save money, and your friends can't tell the difference. Well, where can our viewers find out more information? Well, you can go to designerimposters.com, okay. and there you'll find a chart that compares your favorite designer or celebrity brand to the designer imposter counterpart. You can shop there, too. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Rose, for coming on the program today and showing us how we can smell like a million bucks without breaking the bank. Thank you. 
If you'd like to see this segment again, go to our website at designingspaces.tv and click on the Beauty Spaces header. You'll also find a link to the Designer Imposter site. For Beauty Spaces, I'm Rhonda Castagna. Kirsten, this show has been so much fun, and really, we've gone from cutting kids' hair to a more youthful appearance. I mean, it's all in a day's work, but I wish we had just a little bit more time. We always <laughs> say that, but unfortunately, we are out of time. Yep, so we will see you right here on the next edition of Beauty Spaces. Bye. Bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.